Believe me, I hate the treadmill. My doctor says I have to do this every day because I have high cholesterol. I have to do the treadmill every single day and I have to eat this horrible stuff for breakfast. Three month test, we'll see if it's better. I don't like doing this, I do it because it's my duty. I have to do it and I need to be healthy. For a long time, I approached my quiet time and my devotional -like life like that too because I had to do it. I knew it was good for me. I knew I needed it to be healthy, but it was never a passion. We do the things that we're passionate about without even thinking about it, and it oozes out of everything that we do. I came to one of the churches I worked in because the senior pastor and the associate pastor on staff at that time, they just oozed a passion for God and it was infectious and I wanted that. If I went to your youth ministry today and talked to your kids, talked to your leaders and asked them what is it that you are most passionate about, what would they say? You know, maybe they would say passion for God. He just loves God so deeply and it just comes through in every talk and it comes through in worship and it comes through in our games night my leaders feel it and they're growing and becoming more passionate. My kids are, and, and it just feeds its way through everything in my ministry. Maybe it's community. I'm so passionate about the relationships and the love and the community and walking together that that filters through everything in my whole, my whole work with youth operate. And kids will see that and kids will know that. My great fear is that kids are going to say, I don't know. I don't know what my leader is that passionate about that bleeds through everything. And if that's the case, well, let's do some self-inventory. Let's ask some people around us, what is it that I am most passionate about? What drives me? Because if they'll know, maybe we need to check. <laughs>